in the past eight years, to be honest, I liked the person who was in office at first in the first eight years. But what I've really seen is a huge gap in his ability to speak to his constituents in a respectful manner um, and really act as if he cares. I really feel like we're starting to see this like pedestal mentality and I really hate it. And all I said when that happened was, I remember this distinctly in the media, all he said about Antoine Rose is it's East Pittsburgh and not Pittsburgh. You know, in that moment when you have a boy brutally murdered, you don't need a geography lesson, like you need some compassion. Just some of the sound bites that have come out of that and just, uh, I remember there was one he was aligning kind of the protesters with the radical right and that just didn't make sense in the moment. And then even the attempts at clarification were not clarified at all. So and my whole thing is like, you know the words that are coming out of your mouth, especially if you've been in office for that long. So like you need to take ownership of the words you say. And if you wanted to say something different, then say it. And he never really came out and said it. So that to me was all I needed to know about where he stands. And I understand that everyone That's was probably saying building like- building a wall, not a bridge. Yeah, and he wants yeah. to build a bridge. So we need to build bridges yeah. to all of our surrounding communities. And that's what I appreciate about yeah. Ed because where he's a constituent, it's for areas of Pittsburgh plus Wilkinsburg. And he's yeah. looking to make it one big community and not put up any sort of wall. Yeah. So whether you choose to do a mail-in vote or whether you choose to vote in person, like myself on May 18th, please vote for Ed Gady for a better Pittsburgh.